Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ajoa. In this video, it's going to be about Latafis, the kingdom for hair. But before I do, I want to introduce a fine jewelry company based in New York to you. This is known as Miss Blue. They kindly sent over some few pieces, one of, one of which I'm wearing today. And I'm super excited because these are Masonite diamonds. These are lab grown diamonds. They deal in jewelry, more especially engagement rings, necklaces, earrings and bracelets and they asked me to pick two items of my choice they gave me the range to pick anything i wanted and it brings me to this question i was struggling to choose one or two the two they asked me to choose two and probably i should just you know get some sort of advice from you guys you know my family here the royals because getting receiving pr lately people will give you the opportunity to choose whatever you want on their website and the question here is what is the limit? Because sometimes the guests go like, pick whatever you want, you know. And um, I'm of the school of thought that, I wouldn't say I'm of the school of thoughts. I discussed this with my mom and my sister when Miss Blue reached out to me. And we were like, okay, so do you go for the most expensive items just because they've given you the freedom to choose whatever you want? Or you be a little considerate and choose something, you know, more um, moderate. And my one of them, I wouldn't say who, one of them was like, be more moderate and pick something more you know um simplistic with the price points being moderate first one of the one was also of the school of thought that i should pick the most expensive item so what do you do as a creator when you're given the freedom to choose do you get greedy and choose the most expensive or you guess be modest and moderate and choose whatever you know you like or it, it's it's confusing you know it's better when they box you into something and go like, okay, choose between A, B, and C. But if they say anything, do you get greedy? Okay, that is my dilemma. But this is Miss Blue Fine Jewelry. They are based in New York and they kindly allowed me to choose two items of my choice. And I go, I, I chose to go with the, the necklaces, you know. I'm not typically a ring kind of girl. I'm more about my necklaces and my earrings. So I chose to go with two from miss blue and this include the one that i'm wearing i'm not just going to pretend like i know every single thing because i don't when it comes to jewelry but these are masonite or lab grown diamonds and with this i chose this one known as the over the pearl and emerald cut sapphire hello layered that is what i'm wearing today i guess wanted something you know to give me that layered look and i love this it is simple it is not like my usual chunky ones i like them too but these ones are my you know come comes across as more classy and elegant and more you know a, a little bit more refined somehow although the classy ones give it you know a bit of a different look this is like the more simplistic you know formal sort of looks and i also chose the second one here which is a classy masonite pendant you know the cross pendant here look at the sparkle this is beautiful i'm so impressed by this you know the quality of it when it came and i looked at everything very beautiful the dainty you no know, pieces that they have and the price range because they are you know ethically done they are lab grown they are not like you know such from any conflict zone um countries or excavated you know with their child labor or any sort of you know unethical sort of sourcing they sort of cut uh, cut down all those you know unnecessary costs and then you're getting something with a diamond you know experience but at a fraction of the cost of actual diamonds these are lab grown so these are the two that i chose to go with and i love them very dainty quite simplistic different from the normal ones that i normally go for although to me you know i wouldn't know which one to choose between my chunky ones and this but this one gives me a more elevated simple you know formal classy look and i love this you are getting fine jewelry at a fraction of the price and as we speak down they're having the fall in love sales and i have a discount code which is ajua 15 for 15 percent off anything that you buy whether you buy in bulk you know just one piece or two or three pieces whatever you buy you can use my discount code with their fall in love sale and it's going to give you 15 percent of anything that you get from miss blue these are amazing masonite gemstones you know all lab grown so nothing to worry about when it comes to um blood diamonds you know conflict and all those things nothing like that these are all uh, lab grown so yes 
um, the company is Miss Blue. They are based in New York. Their pieces are classy, elegant. They are nothing, you know, trendy. They are not trendy pieces that, you know, are going to sort of go away after a while. These are like classic, elegant pieces for your weddings, your anniversaries, your, your you know, classy dinners and, you know, formal events. I would highly recommend that you check them out. Miss Blue, based in New York. Let's get to the business of the day, which is Lata First Kingdom for hair that I'm quite impressed about this. I wore this yesterday and the whole day gave me, gave me no vibes of a very classy, elegant woman. And that is why I decided to pair this and Miss Blue together for this video. This is a very elegant, chic one. It gives me a very early 2000 vibes, you know, gives me some, there's something about this fragrance that reminds me of a, a classic Michael Kors, you know, fragrance, you know, there's something about it that gives me that vibes. And this one includes the note of, let me just give you the notes here. It includes a note of black currant, peony, and then pear at the top. It has jasmine, praline, tonka bean in the middle, and then vanilla, sandalwood, amber, and max at the base. It is quite a simple, fruity, floral, you know, no structure. And that is exactly what you get. A very realistic, delicious pear here with a black currant. And thank God, I have a lot of black currant fragrances. So this is not the most dominant black currant. The pear sort of overrides the black currant. And I love that, you know, in this. And then a little bit of the, the peony. The peony doesn't come across as, you know, too intense here. It is done beautifully blended in so you hardly detect the peony as you know as a standalone um um note coming in with the tonka bean the tonka bean is quite prominent you know that sort of tonga tonka vanilla you know um at the background i think those are the, like some of the base the base vanilla and then the tonka even feels like a base note here because it sort of grounds it together for me with the sandalwood the amber and the mask it is not a masky fragrance at all this is going to be your sweet sort of generic you know and i'm using the word gener generic in a very um good way you know it's quite generic in the sense that it's very mass appealing it gives me macy's vibes you know when you enter into macy's it gives you the sort of you know um designer x feel when it comes to fragrances and that is why i say there's something about this kingdom for hair that gives me michael Kors early 2000 it's girl girl next door sort of vibes very simple nothing too special it's like a lot of the you know girls have the same fragrance they smell almost identical they look almost identical the same sort of fashion that is a vibe this one gives me it is simple but generic and also not your overly generic one it will put you in the same mind frame as um a typical designer scent you know there's something about it that screams designer to me like a typical designer scent it doesn't come across as anything complicated or niche like to me it gives you a very mass appealing one that men will swoon around you know it looks like um a typical sweet floral one that men will swoon around the pear here is delicious it is not tart the pear here is not tart the black currant here is not overwhelming or overpowering um the praline is not you no know, overpowering too i get a typical pear tonka bean and then the base being like a solid vanilla with the the sandalwood you know um holding it together it's beautiful i think it is beautiful easy rich sort of you know clean church sort of feel to me or work appropriate it's like church appropriate work appropriate without being too much you know um quite generic but also quite special in a way that you know it can be like a signature scent without doing too much it is good without being inoffensive it is good without being complicated it gives you that sort of you know macy's designer sort of you know vibes for the most part and this is beautiful i wouldn't say i would right now go for a full bottle I'm so glad I tested this one, you know, although if I'm giving or uh, gifted a full bottle, I will just, you know, go through it. It is one that is going to be like an easy reach that you can go through easily. Um, but I, I think uh, it sort of reminds me of a lot of designer fragrances. But it sort of gives me designer fragrance without, you know, being specific as to what exactly, you know. But that sort of generic, sweet, mass appealing one with that pear, the tonka, the um, praline, not too much, you know. And then the sandalwood, you know, not too musky here. This is beautiful. I can just say it's an elegant, beautiful, simple, designer-esque, you know, 
early 2000 sort of vibes you know it gives me early 2000 sort of michael kors vibes and i think that is going to be it it's beautiful for the price that is being sold you know if you decide to get it elsewhere aside the latafa side it's much more cheaper and i think you know it's good you know for the price you're getting this even if it goes beyond like a 30 dollar price point 35 I think it's still a good one, you know, to try. And thank you so much to Tells Perfume GA. She kindly gave me some of these samples to try. And I think this one is quite a good one that you can easily grab and go. And that is going to be it. So please do not forget to check Miss Blue out. I have a discount code with them, Ajwa15. You know, Ajwa15 that you can shop, you know, your hat out. And fall in love with this beautiful, fine jewelry. And that is going to be it for today. And I hope this video found you well. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next one. Take care. Bye-bye.